I hate to ruin your plans this weekend, but cow tipping isn't a thing. The myth seems to have started in the 70s and then really got traction in the 80s and 90s when movies like Heathers and Tommy Boy featured a cow tipping scene. Most versions of the rural legend hold that cattle sleep standing up, so they're easy to approach and push over. And cows can sleep standing up, but it's more of a dozing or a light sleep. And they stay aware of their surroundings. But in order to get that deep REM sleep, they do gotta lay down. And cows are beefy in more ways than one. Most weigh over half a ton and are super topple resistant. And unlike horses, cows can kick sideways. And they'll give you a really good one if they just don't like you or if you startle them. In 2005, zoologist Margot Lilly ran a study that found that tipping a cow would require a force of 3,000 newtons. And estimating that a single person can exert 660 newtons, it would take at least four to six people to push over a non-resistant cow. And when you consider that cattle, like anything else, resist being pushed over, she said it just makes the physics of it all, in my opinion, impossible. And biologist Steven Vogel thinks that the maximum pushing force a person could exert at the height required to topple a cow would only be 300 newtons. So at least 10 people would be required to tip a non-resisting cow. And quote, if a cow does no more than modestly widen its stance without an overall shift of its center of gravity, about 4,000 newtons would be required, or 14 pushers. And if the physics of it all doesn't convince you, try to find a video of somebody pushing a cow over without ropes.